Welcome to the session on hips and chest circles. In this session, we'll be doing circles to one rhythm. In this demonstration, I am listening to the music's rhythm and changing the speeds of my circles accordingly. And with practice, you'll be able to do this too. Omnis are small circles. Before you start, make sure your feet are under your hips, your knees are soft, and then you can start rotating your pelvis. Make sure that the movement occurs only from the waist down. Let's start with some exercises. With your feet hip width apart, transfer your weight and your hips from one leg to another. You should feel quite a stretch. Make sure that you keep your knees bent. Now push your pelvis forward and then back. Without tilting. This movement is coming from the waist. Make sure your knees are bent. Let's put those exercises together to form a break. Feet hip width apart, push to one side, push your pelvis forward, push to the other side, push to your pelvis back, push to the side. Now I'm reversing and when you bring your pelvis forward you're bringing your pelvis forward in one mass. It's not like a figure eight where you're bringing one side of your hip forward first. You are creating a large circle and you have to make sure that your knees are well bent. This is a very strong movement. Adding the arms to the brake is a little bit tricky. When your pelvis is at the front, your arms are behind. When your pelvis is at the back, your arms are in front. And you take the time of when your pelvis is on the side to bring your arms either forward or backwards. Really, you do need a mirror. Um, it is a bit tricky, but keep practicing. These chest circles are on the vertical plane. That is, up and down and around. Go around, up and down and around. It's a bit hard to see because you've got nothing to use. So you use your fingers, put them on your boobs, and they're going to be your pencils. And you can see whether or not, in the, in the mirror, you can see whether you are making vertical circles.
Start your practice with your fingers and then continue on with no fingers because of course you don't dance with pencil triangles. These horizontal chest circle exercises are actually quite good practice. You start from the middle and you lift your chest to the side and back. Now I'm lifting forward and going back, forward, back. Here you'll be able to get a better look at the forward and back. When putting these exercises together for all these circles, we want to take the pause out of in between each move. We want to make the move smooth. But all that I'm doing is basically those exercises. But smooth one after the other. And I'm moving from the waist only. If you ever get lost, start doing the exercises. You need a mirror to see if you are doing these movements correctly. And the more you repeat the exercises, the easier you will find uh, when it comes to putting it all together into the actual movement.